hello amigos and welcome back bienvenidos to all of you that might be new here today i'm doing a tag video i was tagged by the lovely missy from missy's beauty and luxury i will be sharing my no-brainer bags i actually have several this tag was started by bits and bags thank you missy i appreciate you tagging me sorry it's taking me so long if you are new here i'm so glad you stopped on by i'm a latino RUI anyway, that loves to share deals and seals as well as military discounts for all of you that might be eligible and if you are military thank you so much for your service i'm excited to share with you these no-brainer bags i think this is a really great idea for a tag video let me start with the very first one i think all of us can agree we have to have that rainy day bag right especially when we love lv we are very cautious so that way the vaquera or vaqueta as we say in espanol doesn't get damaged and we don't get those water stains and i actually have a few and these are definitely my grab and go depending on the situation and where i am going that dictates which bag i grab if i'm going to be going out shopping running around running errands and i want to be hands-free i reach for my pochette matisse in the reverse monogram i fought adding this one into my collection i thought it was very overrated when they first offered it to me when it was released i turned it down and then I saw so many of them, people were complaining. But then when they did this reverse monogram print, I absolutely loved it. You have the strap that's removable. And I've actually even attached um, like a Valentino guitar strap to this just to, you know, make it a little bit edgier. I love that this one has the back pocket. I can easily put my phone. If I can put my phone in a back pocket, that's a winner for me because I hate carrying the phone inside and having to fuss to open it up and i'm old school i'm not one of those that carries their phone in their hand or their back pocket it's got to go in the bag and the back pocket is genius so this is my first no-brainer bag for a rainy day if i need to carry a few things with me then i will of course take my world tour bag i am very very happy that i waited to jump on the lv Nerful train when this was released with the dark um, leather it is nice and soft and i love that i personalized this with my initials and of course our wedding date and my husband and i we are gemini twins so i just have these monograms on the front it's a nice little workhorse bag but i absolutely love this one and i love that it's different nobody else is going to have this bag and it's just convenient to throw whatever i need in here but this is a very nice fun shopping tote from lv and my next one is down here and this again is a world tour um speedy 30 and i love that it has the black handles i don't have to worry about it if i want a bag that's steeled up but it needs a little bit of room and you have the um, bandolier style so i can easily attach the strap what i love about the world tour is that this strap actually is like two pieces so if you wanted to have it crossbody you have that option but then usually a lot of times I actually just carry this as a shoulder bag, which I absolutely love because it's not long and it's just easy to carry over the shoulder and you can just easily, you know, rock it that way and wear it that way. And it looks really, really nice. Look at that. Facile. Vamanos. Let's go. Throw it over the shoulder. Don't have to worry about the rain. Again, I have my little um, Gemini twin um, bendo on here, but just really, really cute very carefree don't have to worry about it and this is of course the little style the speedy style is of course what audrey hepburn carried and she was known for carrying her speedy because she liked to carry a little sweater to throw it in because when we go to restaurants or wherever we may be it might be a little bit chilly and there's plenty of room for you here in the speedy 30 style i absolutely love both of my world tour lv handbags because of the fact that they're carefree and i don't have to worry about the rain so i could use either one in either situation but these are absolutely great and i love having these in my collection since we are on the subject of lv the other no-brainer handbag is this um lovely empreinte all leather handbag this is the emily my husband calls this america because of the navy and you have the red detail i actually have an ikea pillow in here so this way she can kind of like keep her shape but i love this one i love the pockets here on the outside you could definitely you know put your phone in here if need be and i like that it has the little um, tag so of course i have it personalized with my initials it has the real pretty you know red interior 
I love me a good hobo. For a while there, I just loved hobo bags. And this one is about the only one that I have left in my collection. And I love that it's slouchy. It's super soft. It's really, really nice. And what I really love about this is because it is so soft and it is light for an all leather handbag. I do go to a lot of like um, trade shows, especially jewelry trade shows. And this is the excellent shopping bag that I typically carry with me. Sometimes I'll use my LV um, Neverfull, but I love the fact that I can easily wear this crossbody and see how it just molds to my body. And y'all know I'm a larger Latina. You know, if you're in a 12, 14, 16 size frame with a larger chest, see how it um, falls nicely against your body. It's comfortable, amigas. And what I like is that it's easy to open. As I'm buying, ando comprando, I'm just throwing my little baggies or wherever it is that I'm shopping at. If you go to market, you go to market days. We have so many every month here in the surrounding towns. And I just, you know, throw in the stuff that I need as I'm shopping around. And it's just nice and comfy. Look at that. See how she just fits comfortably you have the options of the long strap you have the option of carrying it here on the crook of your arm and you have the option of carrying it over the shoulder she's absolutely fabulous and because we are a military household that's why i love the colors of the navy and the red for the usa every lady loves to have a date night i knew that i always wanted to add into my collection a uh, beautiful you know lady dior handbag and she's just beautiful she is in this lovely fahard color i am a mauvey girl pinky blush she's the perfect neutral for me and i like the size of it i love the fact that i got this one um, personalized because you have the option to carry this one crossbody with a strap and i have shown this before in my dior collection and i have my initials for my husband and i l and d and because i love giraffes as you can tell this is actually a perfect bag this is actually the perfect blouse to be wearing um sharing this bag especially with the little giraffe here in case for some reason i decide to go hands-free i can easily wear her crossbody if need be or over the shoulder she is a nice long drop falling way below my waistline in case I do wear her over the shoulder. If I need to wear her crossbody, she is going to lay right above my waistline. The handles are going to stay upright. They're not uncomfortable because it's just a very nice soft leather. You have a strap, which is a nice soft leather. She's stunning, carried in the crook of your arm, just like this, just admiring her beauty. You have the feet at the bottom so that the um, lovely soft leather doesn't get stained you have the beautiful canage print from Dior just absolutely stunning she's a very stunning beauty in a mature color just beautiful handheld or having the option to carry it crossbody just beautiful just elegant classy a refined beauty just a beautiful date night bag and that's usually what i typically use her for but she's just stunning for me in my collection and she's the perfect color for me my handle name is camo chica because i love coco chanel so double c's and i think if you are a chanel lover it's really great to have this next handbag in your collection because it's definitely a no-brainer bag because you can use it for so many occasions and it's a great starter piece into the brand in my opinion and i am referring to the beautiful chanel walks rose gold is my favorite um, as far as like in jewelry, I love the way it looks. You have the beautiful plate of the Chanel and you have the rose gold hardware on the chain. It's just a beautiful classic look. I like that this one is nice and easy to open because you have the little turn lock and it's just spacious. This falls right at my waistline. So it's the perfect length for me, which is why I absolutely love it. I love the trendy one because of the versatility in the chain. I love that you can wear this one over the shoulder. Elegante, amigas. Elegante in this beautiful black um, lambskin leather. This is a wonderful bag to use if you're going out to a wedding, if you're going out to a party, um, you're going out with the girls 
and you just want something that is beautiful over the shoulder or you want the option to you know carry it crossbody this one is great especially if you're going to like a game a football game a basketball game or an event you're going to a concert it's just something easy because you don't need to carry a lot with you if you need to carry your keys or whatever your id your wallets just something simple a little lippy a compact it's perfect just for those specific necessities because especially as you go to sporting events there's clear bag policies or you're limited on your size of handbag that you take in and a walk is absolutely perfect regardless of whatever um, brand that you purchase it from a walk I think is essential to have in your collection and I absolutely love this one from um, Chanel so I'm so glad I actually got the Chanel trendy walk in this beautiful rose gold hardware depending on the occasion the walk is perfect but sometimes you need to carry a little bit more and it's always great to have a handbag in your collection that doesn't have any branding that is the quiet luxury it is luxury but it's not screaming any logos and depending on the situation, sometimes you need to carry a handbag like that. And I call this the funeral bag. You gotta love your family members that are very honest and that are just looking out for you in your best interests. And I um, was told, carry a handbag that doesn't have any logos, that's not flashy, that doesn't show that you've spent money um, on that handbag. I selected this one because this is a handbag of if you know, you know. And this is the Chanel reissue and the so, so black with the chevron print. And you have the nice little back pocket here. This is in the oil spill chain or mermaid chain. And I absolutely loved how iridescent it looked, especially in the lighting. It's just fabulous. And you just don't really know if it's Chanel unless you do follow of course luxury but it, it will fit a little bit more than my Chanel walk it's not as long on my body frame as the Chanel walk but when you go to a funeral sometimes and you're standing in line waiting to go and give your condolences or you are at the burial site you don't want to be carrying a heavy bag this handbag was perfect to carry because of course you don't have the flashy Chanel branding as I do on this one. And this one is just more discreet. It's a classic black handbag. It'll go with anything. It has the versatility of throwing over your shoulder or wearing it crossbody. These are ones I will definitely grab depending on the occasion because they both will work perfectly for whichever situation I need them for. I love totes. For me, 2023 was the year of the tote because it was convenient for me to use these to throw in the things that I needed for work, whether it was my laptop, my lunch, my necessities, anything that I needed or whether I use them for travel. And I absolutely love my Gucci Ophidia tote. I love the navy pattern or the navy combination on the gucci this one is in their coated canvas this one has just been a workhorse for me i do have a zamoni organizer for this one i find that the strap on this one is a lot longer than my neverfull see that and that's why i gravitate towards this one the most because of the strap drop length on this one and it's just so easy and carefree and i love it because it'll fit my lunch bag it'll fit my laptop when i was having to carry my laptop and then i would throw in my ipad because i take my ipad with me when i happen to go into the office so i can work on my editing during lunch but it's just absolutely a workhorse having a shopping tote handbag like this in my collection is fabulous and i absolutely love it and it's a wonderful no-brainer bag i have sneakers to match with it i have ballet flats to match with this one so when they released the navy combinations i jumped at the chance and i'm so glad i have this one in my collection an absolutely no-brainer tote Let's talk about some travel bags. I recently added this one into my collection. This handbag was um, my Dia de los Reyes a gift that uh, was brought to me on January 6th. And I shared that with you. That was my first video for the year. And this is the Lou camera bag in the um, grayish taupe, I believe, with the um, beautiful like gold hardware. You have a nice long crossbody strap. This is the version that does not come with the tassel, which I don't mind because it's a pain in the 
you know what with that tassel to make sure that it actually is removed and you lay it flat or you have to hang it right on the edge so that tassel doesn't get warped this falls below my waistline this is the perfect strap drop length for me it is adjustable it's in a beautiful color that's going to go with everything it's a perfect neutral but the bonus about this handbag because as i stated i love me a good pocket on the back this is the newer style that has the back pocket and i absolutely love it to put my phone in i love this bag so much that on my recent trip to cancun to celebrate my 51st birthday this is the handbag that i took because i wanted the convenience of it versus taking my, another gucci crossbody handbag that i actually purchased as well this year and as an army wife i just love the chevron print because it reminds me of the, my husband's rank on his uniform when he was in the army he is really recently retired after serving our country for 36 years. So because of that, that's why I chose these handbags with the chevron print. This one is absolutely perfect and it has been my grab and go when I want that convenience, carefree, back pocket, beautiful soft leather in a gorgeous neutral color. Out of all of my YSL handbags, this one is my absolute, absolute favorite highly recommend another no-brainer amigas the ysl lou camera bag and another um, travel bag that i love taking with me i actually have a couple of the hermes mini evelyn's this one is my most recent one and i got this one at the cancun boutique this is in the blue pale color and the strap is in nata and i love that this one has the gold hardware this is just simple enough for me to carry my necessities it fits my calvi card holder it'll fit my passport cover it'll fit a little chanel mini o case my phone it does sit above the waistline but it's just absolutely absolutely um, precious. I love these little mini Evelyn handbags. They are absolutely wonderful. This one is just precious and I love having this one in my collection and just a great souvenir because this one, this was my 50th birthday gift to me um, from the Cancun boutique um, last year in 2023. So she is actually gorgeous. Both of the ones that I have, I actually got them on vacation. So they are my souvenirs from the trips that I took, but they are just beautiful. The leather is nice and soft. And, and supple with the Clemence leather and you have the, um, you know, raw lining, you have the raw interior on the inside, but this is another really fun no-brainer travel bag because it fits the necessities that I need when I leave the resort to go shopping. So absolutely, absolutely precious. I love this little handbag. I throw this one in as a bonus and that is my little um, LV, Pochette accessoire. I got this back when they were still like $500, thankfully. And I bought a long strap off of um, Etsy or Amazon. I can't remember where to wear it crossbody. And I absolutely love this one. I wish I would have, I wish I had the trifecta in this. I really, really do. Um, so I was late on the train on it and I missed it when they released the Dummy Azure, I think like last year. I just didn't want to pay that $1,100, $1,200 price, whatever it, was, whatever it was for. But it fits what I need, especially if I'm going to walk to the cafeteria and I just need my phone, I just need my wallet. Or if I am going on vacation, I take this one with me as well. Because if it, just depending on the weather, when you travel to the Caribbean and you do get some like mist, you get rain for a little bit, Chispa, it waters the plants, it waters the grass. I use that strap that I purchased because it's inexpensive and I could care less whether it gets water stains or not. This is the strap, of course, that comes with the bag. It's in the canvas material, so it is just carefree and it just fits what I need. And I absolutely love this one. I'm so happy that I actually have one of the pochette accessoires. Um, little handbags from LV in my collection because it is another one of those no-brainers to carry what you need fits in any of your other totes fits in any of your larger bags or you just use it by itself perfect perfect little handbag and the last no-brainer bag I never understood the fuss about this a lot of youtubers would talk about this brand I would see them at Neiman Marcus and I would tell my my amiga my essay there and I would say no, no tienen chiste. I was like, I don't understand the hype over this bag. There's just nothing like 
beautiful about them. I'm like, you see people wear these handbags over the shoulder or when they're traveling and I just never stood the hype right there was just like nothing really great about them until i finally broke down and purchased one for myself during this past black friday um sales i went out to the outlet to the store that they have there and i walked into longchamp and i picked up this large le piege like travel bag because this color gave me all the feels of the Hermes Mauve Sylvester. And y'all know I love me a good mauve color. And I recently took this with me um, to Cancun to bring back all of my souvenirs. And I really, really needed it because it just folds down, right? And you can just pack it with you. I bought my mom one that you can carry over the shoulder. I still have my stuff from the trip. My husband and I stretched out this scarf to cover ourselves and the airplane on the way back because he forgot his like sweatshirt. But it's just nice and roomy and I love it. Now I understand why everybody likes these because you don't have to worry about like if it gets wet, or, you know, if it's raining and it just fits a lot and it's just collapsible. You can fold it down and then you open it up whenever you need it. I was very late to the game and adding a long chomp um, bag, tote, something um, from this brand into my collection. But I absolutely, absolutely love it. And I got this one discounted because it was Black Friday and I'm loving it. So now I understand all the hype about um, Longchamp. I love all of these handbags that I picked out for my no-brainer bags. They just work well for me and they all serve a purpose. And that's what a lot of us love about having these different types of bags in um, our luxury collection, in our handbag collection. Thank you so much to all of you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you a part of the Camo Chica Familia. Please be sure to check out Missy and Bits and Bags videos. I will link them down below. Hop on over to their channel so you can see what um, no-brainer bags they have in their collection that they love and enjoy. To all of our military, thank you so much for your service. I wish you all a wonderful and blessed day. And I'll see you back here for my next video. Hasta la próxima, amigos. Until next time, adios. Thank you.